Hey guys, this is the second part of this tutorial series where I show you how to model an FPV drone. Last time that we left off, we made the top part of the frame, so let's continue. Shift right click to place the 3D cursor in this area. Shift A, add a plane. Scale it and rotate it to match the picture. Press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision surface modifier. Ctrl R to add loop cuts. Shift D to duplicate the plane, place it to the right. Select the planes, Ctrl J to join them. Select these two edges and press F to bridge. Press Ctrl R to add a loop at the center. Press GG to slide the vertices along the edges. Select these edges, extrude them, snap the vertices to close the gaps. You have to click on Auto Merge Vertices to automatically merge. Select these edges, open this menu and click on the plus. It's going to create a custom pivot point to orient the gizmo towards their normals. Extrude and scale to match the picture. Add some loops. Make sure to enable the subdivision surface modifier to match the picture more accurately. I'm adding a loop in this area and I remove these three edges. Then I connect these vertices to form a triangle. I don't care about triangles because I'm going to apply the subdivision surface modifier. It's going to turn the triangles into quads. Put your 3D cursor at the bottom, then add a circle with 16 sides. Go to Face, Grid Fill, rotate the circle, remove half of the faces, select both objects, Ctrl J to join them, select all the vertices, M, Merge by Distance, increase the merging distance value until everything is merged properly. Press Ctrl A on the Subdivision Surface modifier to apply it, to increase the polygon density. Select these faces, I to inset, right click loop tools circle, GG to space the edges out, You can rotate the object to align it with the world, it's easier to work like this. Add a cylinder with 8 sides. Put the 3D cursor at the center of the big hole. Let's add the four small holes. Add a loop at the center. Scale it. Extrude one half. Shift S, selection to cursor to align the cylinder properly with the X axis. Set the pivot point to 3D cursor. Rotate the cylinder. Add a mirror modifier to get 4 cylinders. I just did it with hard ops, which is a paid add-on, but you can just add a default mirror modifier if you don't have this add-on. Select the cylinders, then the main model. Press Ctrl numpad minus to add a boolean modifier, then apply it. Let's clean up the topology. Connect the vertices like so. I don't have enough loops, 
So let's add one. To get the curvature back, select these edges, right click, loop tools, space, and you can also remove that loop on the left. Again, select these edges, right click, loop tools, space, and you can also relax the edges to improve the curvature. Mirror to the other side and apply the mirror modifier. If you have some unwanted loops because of the mirror modifier, just remove them. And let's do the same at the bottom. I don't like my edge flow, so let's remove this edge and connect the vertices like so. Then mirror to the other side again. The topology looks much better that way. We can also relax the vertices to reduce the surface tension. Select the vertices. Right click smooth vertices and increase the values. Let's rotate the model. Extrude the faces to add some thickness. Snap the faces to the bottom of the first piece. Select the sharp edges. Deselect the edges at the center. And add a sharp bevel with a profile value of 1. Ctrl A, reset all transforms to delta to get rid of the transform values. Add a mirror modifier and apply it. And that's it for this part. In the next video, I will model another part of the frame. If you found that video helpful, please like the video and leave a comment. It helps me a lot with the algorithm. You can also share it with your friends. Don't forget to join my Discord server if you need some help. And you can also join my Patreon if you want me to help you personally with your models. Thank you for watching. Bye.